Well, good day, guys. Here's a quick one. We got ourselves a Reddit story. Let me remind you to like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. It helps us keep going. Um, and share the videos too for your mates. This will help out a lot of guys that are in a bit of trouble with women and stuff, which isn't uncommon these days. Um, a complicated situation resulting in pregnancy. All right. This is a long. This is longer, and I'm sure lots of people are going to judge me. But here it goes. Things weren't good between us for a year before I left. Obviously left the husband or something. One of his parents died and he just couldn't cope. Mm, maybe he should have done better with that. This led to lots of anger and resentment and he took it out on me. Is that really the reason why somebody would get angry and resent me? Resentful. It wasn't her fault the parent died, so if what she's saying is true, this guy needed to have a close look at himself, didn't he? Mainly little jabs about how lazy I was, or whatever. Or whatever. Well, maybe she was lazy, maybe there was something that she needed to improve, and whatever is whatever could mean anything. Being the breadwinner and fighting daily, this was exhausting, especially when, the ki when there is kids involved. So I decided I needed to leave. So why was she the breadwinner? First, the principle of manhood, guys, is to provide. You have to supply. I met my now ex-boyfriend, so whatever she's done hasn't gone good, at work, training. Now this is what happens to a lot, lot of guys. The Sheilas that have a monkey on their back, and they decide to monkey branch and that usually doesn't go well for them because they're working out of resentment, bitterness and unresolved issues. I met my now ex-boyfriend at a work training cinema and there were sparks. Okay, so this guy's turned her on. What you got to understand guys is women act in the moment. If you hit the shooter at the right moment, possibilities are sparks are going to fly. My plan to leave my husband became fast-tracked. Okay, so she's monkey-branched, she's found an option, and she's decided to take it. My plan to leave my husband became fast-tracked, and this is what they'll do. They'll move really quick. They'll get out quick if they've got another option. A classic example of what happens daily. And I left him in 30 days. Me and that boy started dating. Me and that boy, not man, boy, started dating. So she's not a good selector of men. Um, things were good for a while, but I regretted leaving my husband. So things weren't good because she's now working out of regret. It wasn't going the way that she would have liked. Not uncommon. And ripping my family apart. Well, at least she admits, and this is something that a lot of you other women need to admit, and men, that when you have an affair like this and just decide to up and leave without going to try and sort stuff out that can be fixed, you're ripping a family apart and communities are made up, are supposed to be made up of families and not anymore, they're just made up of whatever's out there. Also my boyfriend had a drinking problem, now she would have known this guy had a drinking problem as soon as they hooked up, was immature and lacked proper etiquette. I'm talking about table manners and common courtesy conversations. She might have took him back to meet the parents and that hasn't gone real well, I'd say. And I'd say the friends don't like him either. And they're probably wondering, what, are you, what have you done? I had decided to give it another month and if nothing else, I was going to end it. Fast forward two weeks and I find out I'm pregnant. But according to my tracking app, we didn't have sex anywhere close to when I could have gotten pregnant. He then tells me that when I was drunk, he would come inside me because he wanted a baby and figured I'd be fine with it. Like, well, this is the risk that a lot of these women take, isn't it? And you'll see young Sheila's pushing around prams all on their own. Guess why? Same situation, same situation. Anyways, I broke, so 
just as a matter of fact, and because of all that, I broke up with him because I felt violated and couldn't believe he had decided to do that. Oh, no, you just fuck me. You just get inside me. Don't don't leave anything in there. How... how no um, contraception, no, you know, protection, no nothing. So she asked for it in a way. He wasn't contacted. He hasn't contacted me since, except to tell me to pay him back for something I owed him. Well, I wonder what that was. So she's borrowed money off the guy and he blocked me on all social media. Not a good selector of people, is she? And that's not uncommon. So here's my question. My husband and I have decided to work things out. He knows about the pregnancy and he's supportive. So this guy, you know, if I was the husband, I would have told her to go jump. So this guy's a, um, a simp, simpleton. Abortion was my first choice, but due to the f to fertility issues, it's not an option. The sheer fact I'm pregnant is a miracle in and of itself. So do I keep this X in the loop, like once the baby is born, or do I just leave him alone? Well, that could be complicated, couldn't it? I was separated from my husband, moved out, and had my own place. I was dating a guy and was inebriated and decided we should have sex. He came inside me knowing he shouldn't, and now I'm pregnant. Broke up with boyfriend, got back together with husband. Well, isn't that a classic example, guys, of what these women are capable of? And this is what they'll do. And it happens all the time, particularly in the young circles, where there's a lack of parenting and principle and things that matter. And they sit there with uh, bringing a child into the world completely out of order, completely unprepared, and probably going to they're always the victim aren't they so leave comments guys and um, like and subscribe to the channel share the video and we'll see you on the next one